Hello everyone, this is yours truly, JBlue68. Today is August the 11th, and I'm coming to you with some breaking news. Uh, before I get into this video, I want to say that this video was intended for adults only, not children. Thank you to my subscribers as well. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, liking, sharing, and commenting. Please continue to do so and tap the notification bell so you can get more videos like this as I post them immediately. Well, more bad news comes in the... Uh, way of DC Comics. This is from the Hollywood Pro Reporter and Heat Vision. DC Comics and DC Universe hit by major layoffs. And I read this article and they are quite major. Um, let's get, get into this article and read what it says. Uh, the majority of staff of the streaming service DC Universe has been laid off, as has editor in chief Bob Harris and multiple other executives on the publishing side. Monday's Warner Media layoffs have affected a significant number of high-level figures at comic book powerhouse DC. Multiple sources tell The Hollywood Reporter. Um, among those said to be losing their positions are Editor-in-Chief Bob Harris, Senior VP of Publishing Strategy and Support Services, Hank Canals, VP of Marketing and Creative Services, Jonah Wayland, VP Global Publishing Initiatives and Digital Strategy Bobby Chase, Senior Story Editor Brian Cunningham and Executive Editor Mark Doyle, who oversaw the, uh, the rollout of the Black Label graphic novels. Jim Lee remains a CCO. And I was a big fan of the uh, Black Label books, so that means I guess we won't be getting any more Black Label books. That's really bad, because that was one of the reasons why I continue to read DC Comics. Wow. Uh, roughly one-third of DC's editorial ranks are being laid off, according to, to sources. Jim Lee doesn't really have to worry, because Jim Lee is a comic book artist, so he can work with any comic book company, DC, Image, Dark Horse, Marvel, which he has done before. Uh, insiders also say the majority of, one st of the staff of the streaming service DC Universe has been laid off, a move that had been widely expected as M Warner Media shifts its focus to new streaming service HBO Max. Of course, that's where the Snyder Cut is supposed to be going. And most of you don't know what the Snyder Cut is. That's supposed to be Zack Snyder's version of the Justice League, which is supposed to be a much better and upgraded version than the movie version, which came out a couple of years ago that fans and general audiences did not really like. Uh, DC Universe was DOA as soon as the AT&T merger happened, said one source. I've never understood why AT&T and DC comics merge in the first place. Um, I don't want to say too much, but um, I've dealt with AT&T before and I'm not a fan of their services at all. Uh, DC Universe launched in May 2018 and, has, and is home to live action series such as Doom Patrol, Titans, and Stargirl, Stargirl, as well as animated offerings including Young Justice and Harley Quinn. Some of those shows have now started to stream on HBO Max. So I guess I'll, that'll be their salvation of some sort. Um, hopefully the employees can matriculate or, or transfer over to HBO Max. Uh, uh, also a victim of the layoffs, DC Direct, the company's in-house merchandise and collectibles manufacturer. Wow. Wow. Also not good. Um, and that's... I collect some of the DC uh, uh, collectibles, like their statues, their action figures and whatnot. The division has been shuttered after 22 years, another move that was rumored when Warner Brothers consumer products began taking a more active role in DC merchandising. Also not good. I've never been a fan of Warner Brothers owning DC because they've made some very, very bad moves when it comes to DC Comics. Um, a DC spokesperson declined to comment on the changes, which come less than two weeks before the planned August 22nd online event, DC Fandom, which is set to, to showcase stars from DC's film, TV, and comic book worlds. Wow. Definitely not good. Uh, you know, I'm a, ma I'm a Marvel man, but I still collect DC products. You know, I'm a fan of these characters here, of course. Uh, wow, we'll see what's going to transpire. Uh, I'm sorry to hear this again. It's just continued bad news. I know it was a bad move for them to discontinue doing service with Diamond Comics. Um as a lot of comic book shops have indicated their DC products coming in late or sometimes not showing up to hit shelves at all. So, again, it's just another stream of bad decisions with DC. But, you know, I, I remember when Marvel Comics went bankrupt back in the 80s. 
And then after a series of other moves orchestrated mainly by Stan Lee, they vaulted to the top and you can see where they're at now and how well they're doing. So maybe this is, you know, something that needs to happen with DC Comics for them to rise to the occasion, for them to do better with their products, both with uh, their, especially their movies. Their, the animated movies are really usually very good, but with their live action films, some of their comic books, Although I like a lot of their comics, especially as I mentioned the Black Label comics, uh, for them to do better, you know, hopefully, uh, this is just a storm before the rise, so to speak. Um, we'll see. So fingers and toes crossed cross with DC Comics. I'm never uh, happy to bring bad news when it comes to one of my favorite hobbies, one of my number one favorite hobbies, aside from music. Uh, and being a musician. So there it is, August the 11th. This was reported yesterday, August the 10th, again by The Hollywood Reporter, as you can see here. All right, that's it. That's all, y'all. Have a good day, evening, afternoon, and whatever time and place it is in the world for you. Peace, love, and hair grease.